I'm Matt out. Walsh. I'm Matt Besser with the Upright Citizens Brigade. We're going to tell you a story about what happened last night at the South by Southwest Music Festival. We're at the Playboy party. Yeah, we last don't have night. credentials anywhere, so we basically have to sneak our way into. Yeah, we're naked. Don't yeah, we're the naked. only people in this town that don't have some cow tag around their neck. We can only get into comedy events, which we can do in LA. Yeah, we get into any comedy event in this entire music festival. So anyway. we had to get our friend. We had we were on the list for the Playboy party. We had to get our friend in, so we. Tore off the classic, tore off the band, and stuck it on his hand, got him in, and then we tried to get in the VIP room at the Playboy party, because we thought that's where the bunnies were. And we're Playboys, yeah. so we should have gotten in with just a glance. Yeah. Hefner wasn't anywhere, so we figured we'll find Hefner. So we went into the, we got a camera guy, like yourself, and we just stormed, bum-rushed the gate, got him in the VIP room, everybody thought we were doing a show, nothing happened in there. So then we see that the, or we hear that the, the DJs, you know, like Moby had his DJ set. I don't know if you've ever seen a DJ set viewer, but all the DJ does is he stands in front of a machine and goes like this. And everyone goes, yeah, you're playing a record. It's like cheating. It's like he's not playing anything. So that kind of bugged us because there's like 12 guys on stage behind the so-called musician. And at this, posse, at this yeah. point it was Justice, which is two French guys, which right away is dubious. Because Americans shouldn't be supporting yeah. anything French, really. 9-11. <laughs> Since the French caused 9-11. So we uh, decided we would get on stage, so we went all the way up front, snaked through the line, and just invited ourselves on stage, and we were backstage dancing with the DJ. You can tell by looking at us, we look like we should be on stage next to Justice. Yeah, we look like musicians. So then I got the idea, maybe we should unplug something up on stage and stop this. There was all these plugs that went right to the DJ table, so we thought, okay. I think that's what it's called, the DJ table. So he was going to unplug the DJ, so I got as far away as I could because I knew this wasn't a good idea. And because the reason, I just want to give the reason. The reason is people shouldn't be having that much fun when no musician is in the area. Like, yeah. they shouldn't all be pretending like some musical's happening. It's Ersatz Entertainment. It's, it's like the robot. It's like the Machine War. You can yeah. learn about on Sarah, Sarah Connor. Connor Chronicles. That's yeah. true. It's like, that's the next step. First, we're plotting machines, playing music. Next thing you know, <laughs> fucking robots coming back from the future. Yeah. Anyway, I try my best to save humanity by pulling out a plug from the DJ table. And then this guy has the nerve to come on stage and go, what the fuck are you doing here? He said, you look like you don't belong here. I don't know why a guy grabbing a plug and yanking on it <laughs> makes it seem like that guy doesn't belong here. And so I said, I'm best friends with Moby and he wants me to be up here right now. And this, for some reason, changed the guy's attitude for a half second. He was like, oh really? And he was like, rah, no. That's basically it. He waved at me. I'm like, what's going on? So like, then they kick us off, and we go about five feet from the stage where we're standing in front of the stage, and we proceeded to ID everybody who was trying to get backstage. Yeah, we became security for backstage, so we would check security's bracelets, we would check performers' bracelets. So the moral of this story is don't worship machines. Yeah. Humans. Humans rule. Humans rule. rule.